Hi guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a brain teaser puzzle. It's called the Bull's Nose. It was originally produced by Eureka Toys and Games, but we're going to be making our own here today. I've got some paracord, three wooden beads, and a metal ring. Let's dive right in. So for this project, you're only going to need two feet of paracord. You can start with a little bit more if you're not sure if it's going to turn out how you want it to, um, but this will leave oh, just a little bit of playroom. All right, so making it is pretty simple. Solving it is going to be a lot harder. So we'll start off by just attaching our paracord to the ring using a cow hitch. So to do that, fold your paracord in half, put it through the loop, and then pull your ring through that loop. After that, you're going to put one of the wood beads on both strings of paracord. And slide that up to your metal ring. And then you're going to put both of those ends of paracord back through your metal ring. And then we're going to put a wood bead on each one of these ends. So to keep the bead on the cord, we're just going to tie an Ashley stopper knot. It's just a nice big knot that's not going to slip through this hole on the bead. So I make an upside down U, fold the top of that loop down so that we have these two circles. And then we're going to put our right side loop through our left side loop. And then cinch that end cord down. And then put that cord through the back of your loop. Makes this kind of triangle shaped knot. And that's going to be just big enough to not slip through our hole. We can slide that knot down to the end of the cord so that we aren't wasting any cord. There we go. Same with the other one. Just thread it on and do that Ashley stopper knot again. If you have enough cord that your things aren't all super close together, you can go ahead and clip the end of that cord instead. And I'm actually going to do that with both ends just to give a nice flattened edge on it. So here we have our bull's nose string puzzle. If it doesn't look like this, then it's either going to be really easy to solve or potentially impossible to solve. This actually left a lot. This is a lot smaller, so I've got to make sure this one's solvable. And now I'm not going to be able to put it back together. No. <laughs> After much practice, I think I can do this successfully. So here's the solution to the bull's nose puzzle. We've got our cow's hitch here. We want to flip that around so that the end of the loop goes through our ring. Then we want to slide all the slack towards this end. So we're gonna slide our one bead down towards our two beads. Then once we have all that extra slack, we can now bring those two beads through it and then loop it through the ring and get it around that bead. There we go. And there we have our ring off the puzzle. So you thought that was the hard part. I've discovered that putting it back together is a lot harder. <laughs> so, to do that, put our ring on first. And then we put our wood bead on by putting that folded over paracord through that bead. Then we take our loop and go through our ring. And I'm always tempted to put it over these beads right away. And then we're going to go back around our single bead, make sure you have enough slack. And then not around the whole thing, because then we'll end up back where we started. But we want to go, oops, I need a little bit more slack. Then we want to go through the ring 
again with one quarter of that loop going on each side of the bead and then put both of these beads through so that we have our completed cow hitch against the ring. So where I would get confused on solving this, I would try to go once through the ring and once around everything and I would just keep on going in circles. Uh, but if you remember that you have to go around each bead once, but actually through that ring twice, that might keep you on track. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I can't say I did. I struggled with solving this and putting it back together for a good half hour. Um, but it's something that's great to make as a gag gift or give it to a friend who thinks he's really smart and this may just prove him wrong. We'll put links to all the supplies used in this video down in the description, along with some links to other puzzles that we've made in the past. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That's funky. It's a new knot. <laughs> Should we stop recording? No, 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 <laughs> no, no you no. want all this? Yeah, of course. Uh, this video is only <laughs> four minutes long. No. <laughs>